Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on using the Arrhenius equation to calculate EA from K versus T data. So the activation energy um, is how much energy it, you need to put into a um, system in order to make it make the products. So you have to have enough energy to slam together you have enough energy to replace all the bonds and that takes energy to do it. So the activation energy is that. Activation energy, how do you know how much activation energy it has? So if you know the temperature of the, of the equation, how much, how, what the temperature of the reaction is, you can actually use the Arrhenius equation to find out how much energy it takes to make it. So this is like mind-numbing stuff. So I think this is hard, I think because I'm not really, really good at logarithms. And in order to find out the activation energy here, um, you're going to need to know a little bit about logs. So if you know about logs, that's awesome, I hope you do. But I'm just going to do a teeny little review for you in case you're not sure. Uh, a couple of the rules uh, that I wrote down was that the natural log of a product is the sum of the natural logs. Okay, so if you have something times something, you're going to have the natural log of the first plus the natural log of the second. Second thing I wrote down is that the natural log of something to a power is the power times the natural log of whatever you're, you're looking at. All right, so if in the one, of the one of the terms of your product is actually E, then I just rewrote it. Okay, the natural log of A plus the natural log of E to the X. Well, the natural log of E to the X equals X times the natural log of E. And the natural log of E is 1. That's a definition. All right, so that can go away. Which means that I can put this into, a, into the Arrhenius equation. Now, the Arrhenius equation is K equals, all right, K equals the natural log of AE to the negative activation energy divided by the gas constant times temperature. Okay, now remember temperature is in Kelvin, they give it to you in Celsius just to make you do an extra step. Your gas constant is not liter moles, remember there's two gas constants, so you're going to have to use um, the, the, the second one, the, the, eight, the eight point um, gas constant. So in any case, what you're going to do is you're going to take the natural log of the Arrhenius equation, all right, on both sides. So that's what I've done here. Here's the Arrhenius equation at the top. A to the E equals negative uh, activation energy over RT. Now, if you take the natural log of both, what you're going to see is they've arranged it in such a way that you can get a Y equals MX plus B. And if you remember that from Algebra 1, that's simply just a straight line graph. Now your slope, remember, is M here. And M, if you look above it, is negative activation energy divided by R. And R is just a constant. So if I can find the slope, I can set it equal to the negative EA over R and solve for activation energy. And that's, that's what we're going to do today. So what is Y? y is the natural log of k, okay, and you're given k, so you can just push the natural log button and find it. So you can find your y's on two places. Your x is 1 over your Kelvin temperature. So I can simply take my second Kelvin temperature, 1 over that, um, subtract my first Kelvin temperature, and I can get a, a, a change in uh, x. All right, so remember your slope is the change in y over change in x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my two k's. I'm going to subtract my two k's. Um, and that should be um, a subtraction, not a, it's, it's a, it's a beginning of a subtraction there. Uh, natural log of k final minus the natural log of k initial, so I wrote down, over the changes in the temperatures. Okay. All right, so all I did at the top was, first of all, I put it in Kelvin so that I know I won't make a mistake. I took the natural log of each one of those, wrote them down, and then I took one over the temperature in Kelvin and wrote it down. 
Okay, so I've got a, a data table there at the top. So I'm going to take the, the natural log of, of the second K minus the natural log of the first K, and I end up with 1.3471. Then on the bottom, I have the one over the temperatures. So one over the temperatures, I have the, the second temperature minus the first, one over each of those, and I have its number, divide them, and that's my slope and I'm going to set that slope equal to negative EA over R. So uh, remember there's two gas constants. So I'm going to use the joules over moles Kelvin. I don't have the liter moles. Uh, that's, that's the other gas constant. There's a couple different variations of it. This is 8.314. Multiply that by what you got. Your negatives go away and you end up with six, uh, 62768.4 joules per mole. Well, you know, that's a five digit number. That's too big. Uh, I, I don't trust Alex to put in a five digit number. So I reduced it down to kilojoules per mole by dividing by a thousand. And so my answer is going to be 63.768 kilojoules per mole. They want two significant digits. So I would write down 63. Point um, and then whatever whatever they're asking for, if they ask for the units or not, I'm not sure. So 63 point. So I would call this a hard question. You might even have to do this example a couple times before you try it, and then I hope you do well. <laughs>